In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to the new Tesseract theme without losing your data. And also, I'm going to show you how to create a backup just in case anything happens. 99.9% .9 of the time, nothing happens. You don't lose your data. But just in case something some error occurs or whatever, you want to feel comfortable that you have backed up a lot of your files and you could always revert back. So let's go ahead and back up our files first before we upgrade to the new Tesseract theme. And what I like to do is I like to go to Tools and Export right here. WordPress has this export feature that you could export your posts, your pages, your content files, and your media. So it, this is really great, and I like to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this download export file first, and it's going to download an XML file for you. So for me, sorry. And I did that. I downloaded it. It's right here in my little file cabinet. I'm going to open it up in, in the Finder here, and you'll see it's just the the XML data right here. It's not nothing too interesting it's just all the data like your posts and your pages and stuff like that it didn't really download um, your images so you may want to do that one by one or there's other plugins that will do that for you this will just get the content but I'm assuming that you already have all of your media already on your desktop somewhere securely saved so do that first and download that that's the first step the second step now that we have that, is we could go ahead and um, switch out to the new Tesseract theme version. And you do that by just going to Appearance, Themes, and you could switch from this. You're going to want to switch from this to this. So we're on this right now, and we're just going to have to switch over to 2015 theme. Sorry, 2015. So you want to go ahead and activate this first. You want to activate another uh, WordPress file so you could delete the older uh, Tesseract theme. So do that first. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the other Tesseract theme, just the old one. And I'm going to press delete right there and press OK. And of course, your site's going to look like the old theme, just like this. It's not going to look like the Tesseract theme one. And now what I want to do is I want to upload the new uh, Tesseract theme by clicking Add New, Upload Theme, and Choose File. And here it is right here. I just downloaded it from the site and I saved it in my web directories, my, my uh, computer right here. So I'm going to pr press Open and Install. And I'm going to install the new one and, and I'm going to click Activate. I want to activate it as well. And as you can see, after I do this, it's not going to lose any of the file content I added to the themes. Notice I added this content and stuff. But just in case it does, uh, so you could go back, you could go to Tools, Import, and you could import the content by clicking WordPress. So that's Tools, Import, because remember we just exported it. Now we can import it back into the site by pressing WordPress. And it's going to tell us to install this. Uh, importer and I'm going to go ahead and install it right now and I'm going to activate the plugin importer right now and now once you go in here it's going to say do you want to choose a file so again go to the importer and because I installed this just now it's going to take me right back to this this area where I could choose that file that I downloaded and that's the XML file that I downloaded and I could upload that file, and it's right here. I just I found it right here. This is the file that I uh, downloaded from the exporter that I exported. Now I'm going to go ahead and import it, and click up upload file import, just like that. And I'm going to choose a user right there, and I'm going to click download imported files. Now I'm not going to do this right now, but that's all you have to do, and then press submit, and then you'll get all your data back on your site just in case something happens when you switch themes. But like I said, 99.9% .9 of the time, nothing happens, and you do keep your content, but that's just a security thing that I like to do just in case anything would happen. I hope this video helps you. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions, and we're here to help.